one in a minute. Om Gyan Timiranda Sya Gina Dina Chalakaya Chaksu Un Militam Yena Tasma Shri Gurvina Maha Ma Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Kraskaya Bhutala Shumakti Bhakti Vedanti Swami Namaste Namaste Sarasvati Deva Namani Pacharine Near Visesa Sunyavadi Bastyatya de Satarine Anchakalpa de Rubis Chakri Pasinda Bay Bajapatitanam Pavane Bio Vaishnavi Bio Namaho Namaha Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Raguna Tiananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktarinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. <clears throat> Tan drisva baya sanstratan, uche krishna swa bi bayam, mitra yasan mavira mate, a ne se vatsakan aham. When Krishna saw that his friends, the cowherd boys, were frightened, he, the fierce controller, even of fear itself, said, just to mitigate their fear, my dear friends, do not stop e eating. I shall bring your calves back to the spot by personally going after them myself. Srila Prabhupada's purport, in the presence of Krishna's friendship, a devotee cannot have any fear. Krishna is the supreme controller, the controller of, of even death which is supported, supposed to be the ultimate fear in the material world. Bayam vitya vini es visetasya. This fear arises because of a lack of Krishna consciousness. Otherwise, there cannot be any fear. For one who has taken shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna, this material world of fear becomes hardly dangerous of you at all. Bhavam budir vatsa padam 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 priya padam ya vi padam nate sham. Bhavam budi, the material ocean of fear becomes very easy to cross by the mercy of the Supreme Controller. This material world in which there is fear and danger at every step, padam padam ya vi padam, is not meant for those who have taken shelter of Krishna's lotus feet. Such persons are delivered from the fearful material, from delivered from this fearful world. Samasri samye padal palav palam mahat padam punya iso murari bhavam budir vatsa padam 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 yavi padam nate sham. Everyone, therefore, should take shelter of the Supreme Person who is the source of fearlessness and thus be secure. It's from Bhagavatam 10, 14, 58. Go back to the beginning of the purport. No, no, you went too far. Beginning of the purport, yeah. Beginning of the purport. Beginning of the purport. This is the beginning of the purport, Guru Maharaj? That's the translation, beginning of the purport. There you go, right there, okay. Okay, so um, Krishna's friends are with Krishna. Now there's a, apparently some reason to become fearful of cows. And the cows are being led away by fresh grass. And the boys who give their whole existence to maintaining the cows are feeling some fear. Krishna says, don't worry, I'm gonna save them myself. You just continue enjoying your nice lunch. So Krishna goes after them. So uh, in the material world, there are many uh, dangers. There's dangers from the external environment. There's dangers from the attraction towards sense objects, both 
pleasing and unpleasing. This material world is, is considered to be uh, a dangerous place, as this verse says, Samasita Ye, Palavam Palava Plavam Mahat Padam Punyamasam Marari, Babam Budir Vatsa Padam 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 Yavi Padam Nate Sham. So Bhakti Siddhanta used to say this place is no place for a gentleman or one who understands the value of life. The value of life is to engage in devotion to the Supreme Lord. And the material world works on the principles of fear. People are controlled by fear. People do things in the wrong way because they are fearful. Uh, people cannot even uh, function normally because they are afraid of something. There's always some fear. Of course, the fear of death is the ultimate fear. So, and people try to uh, overcome that in different ways, just like in the United States of America. Uh, one of the biggest investments of people's taxes goes towards defense. In fact, it's the biggest problem within the government. Billions and billions of dollars going to defense industries. Um, defense. Uh, everyone has locks on their doors, locks on their cars, locks on their money, locks on everything. Uh, security agencies all over the world. Uh, so people try in different ways to give themselves a sense of security by creating these material arrangements. And it, it does give some, some relief from the fear aspect. But fear is the principle that, that governs the material world. Uh, fear of not getting, fear of losing, fear of not enjoying what I gain, and ultimately the fear of death, which is, as Shakespeare said, is the is the rub. It's it's the fear of all fears. And so this is the material world, and we are in a particular social environment now where, even if you're not fearful, people want you to become fearful. <laughs> Um, because they're fearful, they want to rub off their fearfulness on you, and uh, they do it in different ways by creating their own mentality to make you feel like they want to want you to feel, or at the same time, simply by hearing from them. You know, all they talk about is, is fear. Mm -hmm. um, and fear also is a big business. It gets people to buy things that they don't need. It gets people to do things that they shouldn't do. And the whole idea of fear, fear is so strong that uh, in some places people can't even uh, move around normally because they're afraid of something. Uh, just to show you how fear works in the very silly way you're in a room it's in it's at night you're in a room and it's at night and um the lights all the lights go out and you have no illumination at all it's just complete darkness and all of a sudden you're fearful you're imagining something that's maybe in the room that wasn't there before because of the darkness now or uh that's one example. People are free, afraid of darkness. People are afraid of so many things. Mm -hmm. So this is the material world. So here, Krishna's cowherd boys are being told by Krishna, no need for fear, I'm here, don't worry. So Prabhupada says, fear arises because of a lack of Krishna consciousness. When one is Krishna conscious, then they take shelter of Krishna. And they know by taking shelter of Krishna, I can be peaceful, I can be free from fear. Now, this is the 
principle of happiness. Because as long as one is fearful, they can't live and they can't live a happy life. There's no happiness when fear is there. Um, of course, one should be careful in how to live in this world, so not to do anything that will cause oneself harm or cause harm to anyone else. But at the same time, one should be one should be free from this anxiety, which is caused by this sense of fear. You know, just like if you live in a certain country and that government makes another country their enemy, and then the people who are from that country, you become fearful of them. And now here yeah, they say, well, if you don't wear a mask, then people who are un not wearing a mask people who are wearing the mask, people who are wearing a mask are afraid of people who are not wearing the mask. And so there's a fear there. Uh, I took the vaccination and you didn't, and therefore I'm fearful of you or vice versa. So, so many ways to become fearful. Uh, it's just unlimited. And society creates a sort of a mass fear based on political and social uh, positionings. And then you also get pulled into that same kind of fear mood. But fear actually means two. This is an interesting statement. Two means the number two. Something, there is only one. That is, the one is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And there's nothing outside of him and he is the supreme controller. So when you see something outside of Krishna, then there is cause for something, there's cause for fear. Prabhupada gave, gives the example where in 19, I think 40 something, when World War II was going on, he was in his uh, place in, uh, with his wife and it was the evening time and uh, they were in Calcutta in his home. And then the bombs were coming from the Germans were bombing, bombing the English quarter like that. And now uh, when the bombs were just about ready to come, the sirens go off to warn people to take shelter into the bomb shelters and, uh, you know, protect themselves. So Prabhupada was with his wife, along with one uh, gentleman, friend, relative, I'm not sure. And uh, Prabhupada's wife was cooking the evening meal. She was making Prabhupada kachuris. Prabhupada loves kachuris. It was one of, them, one of his favorite dishes was kachuris. And so uh, the sirens go off and the bombs are about to come. Prabhupada's friend said, ah, calls him by name and says, let's go. Let's go to the bomb shelters. And Prabhupada said, no, no, you go. I'm going to stay here and have evening meal. I'm not going. So the man left him. Prabhupada stayed and the bombs were coming. And Prabhupada described in a very animated way the sounds of the bombs flying through the air. And Prabhupada said, I was hearing these sounds. Of, and I'm thinking, oh, Krishna has come in the form of a bomb. Krishna has come in the form of a bomb. So Prabhupada was seeing Krishna within that. And therefore there's no, no cause of fear. So one who takes shelter of Krishna, and this is, how do we take shelter of Krishna? Usually we, we can do it in, a, in various ways, but we can also do it in various intensities. How much we really take shelter of Krishna as opposed to very perfunctorial ways, just in a very nonchalant way. But in any case, if you take shelter of Krishna, as Prabhupada says, then there cannot be any fear in the material world. It doesn't affect and we have so many examples of people who have been in fearful conditions and somehow because of taking shelter of Krishna, the whole situation was turned around. 
So that that is um, in the material world, people, as we explained earlier, are trying to somehow mitigate the dangerous elements within this world through various preventative measures, such as guns, locks, insurance policies, <laughs> whatever else ways that people are trying to somehow, but you can't do that. These things have no value. They can't change the material situation, but if one takes shelter of Krishna, seriously takes shelter of Krishna, then there is no fear. Even when we find ourselves in a little difficult situation due to maybe some social interaction or some unforeseen event that may have come, um, taking shelter of Krishna changes the whole thing around. Because Krishna and his, the thought of Krishna are non different than Krishna. So one is connected with Krishna simply by thinking of him. And of course, that thinking should be done in a very direct way. One should think of Krishna with all of one's mental powers and not simply in a you know, routine way. And that way, one is in the best position. So for a devotee, there is no fear in the... Uh, beginning of the 16th chapter in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna describes many of the qualities of a devotee, and one of them is fearlessness. A devotee becomes fearless. That fearlessness is that they, they know, just like Prabhupada would use the example, uh, a child, he's very vulnerable to so many things, but because his father is there, he feels protected. He knows his father is going to be there to protect him. So he doesn't have any fear knowing that his father is there, protect, ready to protect him if need be. But Krishna is always there ready to protect the devotee if there's any danger. Of course, there's another aspect to this and that he protects us from the dangers of falling into the material energy due to attraction to the material energy or somehow or other too close association with that material energy, which causes us to be affected by that association. So that's another kind of protection. Therefore, it says the one who worships Lord Nishringadev, and Lord Nishringadev does three things. He, one, he destroys uh, the illusions that come with material attraction. We are attracted to things in this world and we are averse to things in this world. So that attraction and aversion causes the mind to become disturbed. And if it becomes too disturbed, there's confusion comes and one doesn't know whether to act or to not act or even how to act if they have to act. So uh, one should be very careful not to allow fear to enter into their life because if it does, confusion is the result, and confusion means that whatever uh, I will try to somehow want to mitigate the fear any way I can, and that confused state of mind simply brings one to another, another level of ignorance where they think that thinking the situation in the Um, sorry about that. My computer um, somehow or other decided to take rest. <laughs> so we're back. 
Okay, and so that's a little bit about this element of fear that we can think about. So let's uh, see if there's any discussion based on this topic here. Hare Krishna devotees, if you have any questions, please unmute yourself and ask questions or you can type in the chat box and I will read it for you. Thank you. Questions or comments, anything in connection with this subject? Uh, Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisance. These are glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to you, Guru Dev. You were mentioning that Lord Nashingadev, as we worship Lord Nashingadev, three things happen. The very first one was destroying our illusions of attachment and aversion. I didn't quite catch the, the second two, I mean, two and three. Number two was um, that he protects against material dangers you know, external forces that cause can cause one harm. He protects against that. And the third one is that he uproots material desires situated in the heart, which are the desire to enjoy material, uh, material energy. So these are the three forms. Destroys material, material illusions, protects against material dangers, uproots the fruit of mentality. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. Appreciate it. Yeah. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Srila Prabhupada. Hare, 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 Hare Krishna Maharaj. Mara, this is a, a, a very wonderful and a strengthening uh, lecture that helps us in our spiritual lives because uh, we are all tormented by fear at some point. In fact, most of the time. Mara, uh, one clarification here uh, just related to Sri Devi Mataji's question, follow up. Uh, you know, when you say worshipping Narsingha Dev, so is it worshipping Narsingha Dev as a deity on our home altar or offering prayers? that we do um, daily. Yeah, we can offer daily prayers. That's also part of the worship. It, whether it's formal or less formal or informal, um, we chant the glories of Lord Nishringade by here Nishingo Rida Hey Nishingo. Uh, um, uh, and then what is that other part? Tapaka, uh, uh, no. Namaste, Narasringhaya, Palarala, Nadayine, Hiranya Kashipu, Pakshaha, Srila Tam Kam Nakanaye, Ito Nishimha, Padato Nishingo, Yato Yato Yamita To Nishingo. Yeah, Yato Yato Yavan, Yato Yato Va Imamahir Nishingo means wherever I go, Lord Nishringa Dev is with me. So if one has faith that the Lord is always with us and one should remember the Lord and take shelter of the Lord, offering prayers to the Lord is a way to connect with the Lord. Uh, glorifying him by chanting his mantras like that. Sri Nishringa, Jai Nishringa, Jai Jai Sri Nishringa. Palada Desha Jaya Padma Mukha Padma Bringam. Ugram Virya Mahavishnu Jwalantam Sarvatam Mukam Nishringa Vishinam Badram Mitya Mityam Namami Aham Mitya Mityam He is the death of death. He even destroys death. <laughs> so Nishringa Dev is specially geared and he is very important in this age of Kali, which is simply characterized by uh, fearful elements. There's people who are simply out to make everyone fearful. If you can get a person to become fearful, you can control them. It's one of the ways of controlling people through fear. And that's what they're doing now with this present situation. Creating these false senses of restriction 
certain countries are so restrictive that people are, they can't do anything. <laughs> there's nothing, there's no reason for it, but just to create this fear in people's minds that something bad is out there. And uh, it becomes, uh, you know, people become afraid. They become afraid of each other. Oh, I can't even talk to this person. I might get some kind of disease or something. <laughs> So it's become quite paranoia. It's paranoia is a, a state of fear where one can't even, you know, function in their normal capacity. The devotees don't have to worry about them. just take shelter of Krishna, and Lord Nishringa Dev, Srila Prabhupada. Prabhupada is also an element of, sh of shelter. He can also destroy all illusions and fearful situations in our life. But we should be, we should learn to develop that mood of depending on the Lord. That is the most important part of this whole idea is learn to depend on the Lord in each and every situation. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you. I think that's the thing in you know, how consciously we have to be always to depend on the Lord because whenever there is anxiety and fears, we try to solve things our own selves, which, which without, I, I shall say in Mike's case, you know, the mind always goes to finding a solution without first taking the shelter and pray and then try to take inspiration and solve the problem. Yeah, when we take inspiration and, to, and to remember Krishna, then it becomes easy how to de understand how to act or not act. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Navanath. Mm -hmm. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Guru Maharaj, I have like this question that uh, it's mentioned that while we are in uh, having this fear in material world, that's lack of uh, Krishna consciousness. But while we engaged in spiritual activities or devotional activities and uh, like following any spiritual master instructions, uh, most of the time mood is how to keep Krishna happy and how to keep uh, spiritual masters pleased by our activities. Uh, but sometimes little fear also I feel is good because it helps us to be on the right path and not to go on the wrong path. Is that also considered as lack of Krishna consciousness, Guru Maharaj? No, that's, Prabhupada talks about that directly. He says, it's called developing a healthy fear. A healthy fear means that I am afraid, again, to fall into the material energy. I'm afraid to be captured by my, um, I'm, a, I'm fearful of acting in such a way that I will be uh, victimized by the material energy. So that kind of fear is called a healthy fear. It causes one to be very cautious in dealing with the material energy, so not to become trapped by that material energy. So that's, that's recommended. That must be there. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. That helps. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Use your intelligence in every situation to avoid getting caught by the material energy. And the word is healthy fear. That's the exact word the scriptures use. Thank you, Guru. Suda. Suda. Mm -hmm. Hare Krishna, Guru. Hare Krishna. Uh, Radha Pranam, Guru Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to you, Guru Maharaj. 
Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj, for the um, topic on fear. So I also personally experience these things, Maharaj. Like even if you don't want to be fearful, like people around you make you fear fearful. Like simply, like they just talk about like all their problems. I mean, okay, in a, in okay, if they really want and help, that's okay. But they just have that tendency to just dump all their um, problems, and they just that create really creates a fear. Uh, panic. Mm, uh, so, how to handle these situations? Um, yeah, and people they say misery loves company. That's a, that's a slogan. Misery loves company. If you can, if you're miserable alone, it's more miserable. But if you can be miserable with somebody else, then it's not so miserable. It's not as miserable. So, yeah. But you shouldn't allow that. You have to counteract that with proper, proper response like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. When you know that, why let yourself be a garbage dump for everybody's garbage? You know. <laughs> yes. Like, uh... Yeah. That's what they want, some place to throw their garbage. Yes, yes. Um, not so much, it's not so much they want help. All they want to do is have somebody else share the same anxiety that they're experiencing. Yes, yes, Guru Maharaj. Um, yeah, that also creates anxiety. And it stays like for a couple of days and uh, it's very difficult to divert uh, things so i also fear i also have fear about that situation Guru Maharaj. if you constantly um hear about interact with them so will that become your consciousness yeah now if you're in a position of they're coming to you for some guidance and some help and you take the role of you take that role and you try to offer some Krishna conscious guidance. Mm -hmm. But if they're just coming there to, you know, share their misery with you, mm -hmm. better to, to, you know, keep things on the pleasant. Okay, good so negativity, negativity is part of, is the major part of, of the material energy. Krishna consciousness, there's nothing negative in Krishna consciousness. Everything is is connected with Krishna every day. Therefore, everything is, is good, is wonderful, it's uplifting. And so if we keep Krishna at the front, then everything is uplifting. If we have to deal with the problems of the material energy, we should do it in relationship to, to the principles taught to us by spiritual master, by Prabhupada, on how to use Krishna conscious solutions for material problems. Or spiritual problems, spiritual solutions for spirit, for for material problems. If you're in a position for coming for they're coming for guidance, then you can deal with that. But if they just come to make you miserable like like them, then you want to change that. Then. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if it's like, um, your close friend or your close relation, um, how can we actually, without hurting them, uh, how can we divert? Uh, I mean, that, how can you have those... to know how to do that, that's all. That's an individual thing. You have to know the person and see what, see what will, what you can say or not say that will make a difference. Mm. You can't just, you should be, the thing is, you should be positive. You can be also empathetic, but at the same time, you shouldn't be, it's like a, a person comes to you with a, uh, you're a doctor and a patient comes. So you have to be careful not to get the disease yourself. At the same time, you have to treat the patient. No. <laughs> Yeah. That's good. So, is 
disease is unnecessary criticism. People like to criticize everything. <laughs> criticism is, a, is, a, is an expression of a disturbed mind. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I just have one more question, Guru Maharaj. Like uh, you mentioned, like if, uh, we have to think of Krishna like um, with the mental power, not routine way. Could you please explain that, Guru Maharaj? Like uh, not yeah. routine. Yeah, not just not just routinely, but with with great enthusiasm. Think of Krishna. Okay. Put the impression. You think call out to his name. Think of him with with complete attention. And that's. That's something we should be doing all the time. If we're always remembering Krishna throughout the day, then when, it, when some situation comes where we, we need, really need to remember him, it becomes natural and easy. But if we're not, then we may somehow or other forget to remember him when situations arise. Practice remembering Krishna. That's the whole process of Krishna consciousness. Remember Krishna always. Yes, Guru. That's the nature of the soul's existence. The soul can never forget Krishna, but the mind interferes, and then the mind somehow or other creates another false reality based on the false ego's desire to enjoy material energy. So, try to remember Krishna always. Practice. That's good. You can decorate your house with pictures of Krishna. That's one way to remember Krishna. You can put you can put plaques on the wall with verses. Another way to remember Krishna. You can uh, name your children after names of Krishna. You can. Uh, um, you know, read Prabhupada's books and chant Hare Krishna. That's the direct way. So many things we can do, surround ourselves with Krishna. I, I, I can see your house behind you. I don't see any good pictures behind you. you don't have, do you have any good pictures of Krishna anywhere? Yes, Guru Maharaj. Uh, actually, I'm upstairs, so I don't have it. I put it in the downstairs. Put it everywhere, upstairs, downstairs, everywhere. Put, make yeah, make your house a temple. Yes, yes, church. Sure. Picture is non different than the Lord. Yes, sure, much, definitely. Thank you very much, Hare Krishna. What can we do if our mind is disturbed and we feel the need to criticize? What's the rest of the uh, question? Oh, sorry, what? Oh. No, this is another, this is Moh Mohanasani Radha is asking this question. Thank you. Should I, should I read it out, Guru Maharaj? Yeah. Uh, so she's saying, Hare Krishna Gurudev, what can we do if our mind is disturbed? and we feel the need to criticize. How can we change the, this attitude and where is the root cause of that? Does that possibly come from some kind of fear like someone could be better than me, being envious or awe, something else? We, these are all material things and they're not Krishna conscious. Just divert your mind to something Krishna conscious or something pleasant, something positive. You can't give excuses for negativity and give it, give it sanction. Saying negativity is what it is. It's neg negativity. If you're thinking about criticizing someone, instead of criticizing, you find some good quality about them. That... Oh, I see this person, they have this fault and they're doing this, but actually they also have this quality that is so nice. Focus on that. 
you can be a fly, which goes for the source, or you can be a honeybee that goes for the honey. We want to be, you know, we want, if we're remembering Krishna, then when we find ourselves in this negative, then we just think, oh, it's not so important. Criticism, fault finding, blasphemy, these are all part of the, the modes of pa passion and ignorance. Um, she said, I understand Guru Maharaj, thank you. Lavanya, um, you have a question? Yeah. Yes, Guru Maharaj, um, please accept my humble obeisances, Elder Mr. Srila Prabhupada. <clears throat> Guru Maharaj, this is like a <clears throat> practical question. Like, um, suppose um, uh, I've been practicing Krishna consciousness for some years, and a uh, uh, lot of relatives and neighbors, they watch us, they, they observe us, what we are doing. And uh, they want to um, know about what we are doing. And if I tell them my austerities, like, I wake up early in the morning, I do some um, yoga offering every day and uh, do aarti, everything. So if I tell them, they get into fear. Like uh, they say that, oh, you are doing a lot of things. You are, they are you have given a lot of time. Uh, you buy, how do you get so much time to do um, out of all this? And uh, they, I just want to attract them into Krishna consciousness. But uh, due to my telling all these things, I feel that they are into fear to come into Krishna consciousness. So, um, what you should tell I tell them? That, just, just, just give them what they can can handle. Mm -hmm. Tell them that we have, we have a, a we we chant this particular prayer that makes you feel free from stress and gives you happiness. Just mm -hmm. focus, fo don't focus on all your austerities. Yeah. Just focus on your on your devotional activities, which are nice. Mm -hmm. speak in a very positive and a very uplifting way make them feel that the, what you're doing is, is something good and they can also benefit from it yeah and if they ask questions then you can answer in a very uh, very careful way how to answer their challenging questions mm -hmm. if they're curious that's good that means they're you know, there's something about what you're doing that is interesting to them. They are curious, Guru Maharaj, but they don't want to come. <laughs> uh, they, they just, uh, from far away, distance, they'll see and say, okay, you are doing very nice thing. That's good. Everything they appreciate, but uh, uh, they don't seem any interest to join or uh, okay. participate. Yeah, don't, then don't worry about them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, Guru Maharaj, yeah. Oh, yeah. And also, Guru Maharaj, um, as um, a neophyte devotees, um, um, we have some fears, like uh, we are totally not free from the influence of material energy. And um, we, uh, we always think about the material things also. So, uh, but uh, to overcome our fears, so um, should we contact the senior devotees and uh, discuss with them? And should we become, uh, should, uh, should we become a resource uh, for them, for the neophyte or you yeah, if you, have, if you have some fear, first of all, try to settle it in your local area with, with mm -hmm. the devotees around you. If, if yeah. that doesn't work, then you can present your questions to the spiritual master or, or to senior devotees. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so we want to uh, understand everything and how to practice Krishna consciousness. So Prabhupada explains that we should know how the material energy works and how to avoid getting victimized by the material energy. That's a science too, how, how to you know, travel in the rain without getting wet. Mm -hmm. That's good news. Yeah. But then, you know, then some of it's practical and some of it's philosophical. 
But ask questions, yeah. Try to work it out amongst your immediate association. If you can't do it in an immediate way, then, then you can present the questions to the spiritual teachers. But it's good. We want to get, we want to learn more. We want to become aware how not to get trapped by Maya. We also want to know exactly how to act in each and every situation. All these are important. But there's a general principle, and that is to remember Krishna always. And then you're in the best position to make the right decision. Because mm -hmm. Krishna will help you when you remember. And when you don't remember him, then you're pretty much on your own. Mm -hmm. It's not hard. It's, it's easy yeah. to remember Krishna. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Nandini Radhika Mataji is asking, Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, how to calm your mind? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Rama Rama, Hare Hare. That's the answer to that question. There's no other answer. Chant Hare Krishna. <laughs> Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, thank you very much for the beautiful answer, Maharaj. There's, that's the answer that will solve the restless mind. Just keep chanting and gradually the mind will come under control. Yes, Maharaj. Hare thank you, Maharaj. Yeah, don't listen to your the, all the ramblings of the mind. The mind is thinking about this and thinking about that and becoming anxious about this, becoming fearful about this, becoming doubtful about this. Just chant Hare Krishna. And then the mind will somehow or other find peace and all the problems seem, even if there is a problem, it's not so bad. Yes, Maharaj. Was that statement by Ra Ralph Waldo Emerson? The mind is a thing in itself. It can make heaven out of hell and hell out of heaven. The mind can take you everywhere and anywhere if you allow it. So just chant Hare Krishna. We have to control, we have to control the mind and not be controlled by the mind. Practice mind control by keeping your mind focused on devotional service, by serving the devotees, by thinking how to uh, engage in devotional service, by chanting Hare Krishna, by reading books, by worshiping deities, we have a whole long list of activities that we can use to control the restless mind. Yes, Maharaj. That's really helpful, Maharaj. Yeah, don't forget. Absolutely, Maharaj, absolutely. Shridevi Mataji, you have a question? Uh, yeah, if you don't mind, Satya Bhama, can I ask? Uh, sorry, you have you had your hands raised. Do you have a question? Yeah, can I go ahead and ask now? Yes, yes, Mataji, please. Uh, Guru Maharaj, we know that this atmosphere of fear and, and confusion is all a ploy of Kali to keep people, you know, away from Krishna, away from chanting the holy name. And we know the antidote is chanting the holy names of the Lord congregationally. So do you think we should do more and more Harinam so people can see how joyful devotees are singing and dancing and living, you know, in spite of all the negativity that we are not affected by all what is happening because we are in the spiritual energy and they see that and they will get positively influence yeah that's obvious so how can we do this in places where there are restrictions and you know all these rules and this and that and 
Hey, you have to figure that one out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it depends on the, yeah, it depends, you know, the more people you have, the easier it is to do it. Right, we know that the solution is chanting Hare Krishna and engaging people in chanting Hare Krishna. We know that this is the antidote for Kali Yuga, congregational chanting of the holy name. Lord, Lord Chaitanya demonstrated it by when he had mass Harinam against the Kazi, when the Kazi was trying to stop the Harinam party. He organized, you know, people from all over the universe. There were millions of people, they marched. And then this, the power of the holy name you know, change the whole atmosphere. No, you don't underestimate if the devotees are out there and chanting enthusiastically, then the whole atmosphere is, is, is purified. Oh, yes, definitely, Guru Maharaj. I can see that over here. Hey. You feeling any better? Oh yes, definitely much better. Thanks to the kind <laughs> treatment of my god sister and other devotees who are helping me. I'm much better. Thank you. Okay. Continue and get your get your health back to normal. Oh yes, Guru Maharaj, I have to because Sunday feast uh, Ananta Prabhu wants me to give the lecture. Good, good, good. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'm going to listen to the recording. Oh, my God. Oh, Krishna. Okay. Um, uh, Lavanya. Mother Lavanya. Yes, good marriage. Yeah, tomorrow I'm traveling. We have a Rathiyatra and I'm traveling out of out of country yes, to Croatia. So the Rathiyatra starts at the same time as our class starts. So yes, I won't be there tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just leave it up to you to sure, fill sure. it in. Sure, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, that will be tomorrow, Sunday. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be available on Sunday. I know on Monday I will be. Um, Monday, uh, Maharaj, uh, we are starting a series with uh, his, Her oh, Grace, uh, Chiti Shakti Mataji. Good, good, good. That's good. Tuesday, I'm Tuesday, I'm uh, up in the air for a long time, and I won't be available on Tuesday either. Yes, Maharaj. Um, Wednesday, I'll be in your time zone. Mm. So I don't know what that means. There's going to be a whole switch around about times yeah. that we have to somehow or other work out. Any of these are some of the things to think about. So uh, will you be able to uh, give lecture uh, when you are here in U.S., Guru Maharaj? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. I will, but we'll have to restructure. <laughs> We organize the time a little. Timing, okay. Maybe or maybe an hour or two different. Okay, good match. Sure. Mm, yeah. So, what time is it? There? What time is it now? In yeah, it's course? almost eleven o'clock, Guru Maharaj. Usually, our daily call starts at ten a.m. Central Time. Um, mm -hmm. So we can start. We can still can do that from the when I'm there in the U.S. I could give class every day at ten. Okay, that's good. Good match. Yes. Yeah. Well, of course, if I give class at 10, it's 11 o'clock my time. So maybe uh, we might have to drop it back an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, Guru Maharaj, you'll be in central time only, Guru Maharaj, when you're, if you're in Chicago. Oh, yeah, that's right. I will be in central yeah, time. Yes, you're right. Thank you. Okay. Sure, good much. So until Tuesday, um, I'll try, I'll try to um, manage something. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just life is quite fast nowadays. <laughs> good okay. I have another question. If it's okay to ask, uh, Nandini Radha, of course. 
Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. So Maharaj, you know, my mind takes a lot of um, space, you know, organizing and planning things. And then sometimes I start feeling that I'm in control. When obviously I'm not in control at all. It's Krishna who's in control. And that fills up my mind and gives me anxiety as well. You know, when I'm trying to plan too many things at work, at home. So is planning, organizing all of these things good or should we just not do too much, spend too much time doing these things and just leave things to Krishna? No. <laughs> Krishna didn't tell Arjuna, you sleep on the chariot and I'll fight for you. You know. He said, "You fight. <laughs> you gotta work. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta be out there. But I'm with you. That's the point. Krishna's in the background. You gotta do the work. <laughs> He's there to help you. He's there to guide you. But but you, it's not like you. You know, you retire and he does everything." <laughs> <laughs> So it, it, then I suppose all of these things come, you know, they're part and parcel of organizing, planning, you know. Right. And you have to do everything with enthusiasm. So, yeah, yeah, but don't forget Krishna. That's the point. Work on behalf of the Lord and don't work without the Lord. When you work without the Lord, then you think I'm the doer and I'm the controller and I'm whatever. I'm the enjoyer. Just read, keep Krishna with you when you're enthusiastically engaged in activity. Absolutely, Maharaj. The consciousness. And if you like, I can give you some more things to do. <laughs> of course, Maharaj. Anytime. You have to come back, Maharaj, first. Please. No, I'm gonna I can give you one thing to do right now. Okay, definitely. Okay, you ready? Yes, Maharaj. Every, uh, start a home program regularly in your home and invite devotees and do it on a regular basis. Have Kirtan, Prabhachan, Prashad, and discuss, you know, Krishna consciousness. Create a little, little Sangha at your home. Yes, Maharaj. Find, find a time that works for you and reach out and see if you can fill people in on a regular basis absolutely that'll, Maharaj. that'll purify everything and make the home more a temple and, and you'll be actually doing a great service by helping people become more krishna conscious absolutely Maharaj. i'm going to work start working on this you know my, my new project my little new project good good uh, yes and then get help from others and then put it together of course, Maharaj, you know, I've got lots of devotee friends here. I'll, I'll get everyone involved and I will try and connect with my God brothers and God sisters, you know, as well. So, yes, that would be lovely to do that, something like that. That would please me so much when I see the devotees are actually making an effort to bring other people closer to Krishna, which brings them closer to Krishna, too. Absolutely, Maharaj. Absolutely. I just need your blessings, Maharaj, and I'm going to start working on that. As Prabhupada said, the blessings come with the instructions. <laughs> jai, jai. Thank you, Maharaj. Yes, <laughs> Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Sri Devi, when are you going to start your preaching center? Uh, yes, Guru Maharaj, as soon as I get to Mayapur, I guess. Okay. And Makanana Maharaj just got me, right? Yeah, he, he picked up on it. It was really nice. So it, worked, it, 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 was, it happened so naturally that there was no doubt. Yes, Guru Maharaj, blessings of the great Vaishnavas is everything in spiritual life. So I'm very, very blessed by the mercy, the showers of mercy and the showers of blessings. It's like, I'm so undeserving and so ridiculous basically. And just see a cripple like me getting all this mercy. I have to do something now with it. <laughs> okay, is there anything else? Mm -hmm.
Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. I just have one question, Guru Maharaj. Uh, when you said that we, uh, we should take shelter of Krishna, so I was thinking, what are the ways we can, uh, you know, think of when we are in anxiety, on we really, when we think that, you know, we are lonely or we just so many times, even in a spiritual life, we feel that we are struggling with chanting and, you know, reading and everything else. So how, what are the ways, like, you know, uh, one thing you mentioned that we should always remember Krishna. So is remembering Krishna is, is enough as in taking shelter of Krishna? Yeah, same thing. Okay. It's the same thing. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we can stop here. Thank you very much, and we'll see you uh, maybe in a few few days. But continue on with the discussions and. Don't miss Monday's program with Chidi Shakti. She is quite interesting. Very, she's more like a female version of, of uh, Bhuta Bhavana. She's super intelligent. Uh, she does radio shows. She does other programs. She's a noted psychologist and psychiatrist. And she's a, had personal association with her Guru Maharaj, she served him personally. So she's a quite a, a quite a dynamic and very intelligent and very enthusiastic person. She has a lot to offer. Come on Monday for sure to hear her talk, which be, will be one in a series of three talks. Okay, thank you very much. Sheila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Thank you very much, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Krishna. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare